Well, again, good morning to all of those of you who I may not have greeted personally. This is another day, and we thank God. The songwriter said, it's another day's journey, and I'm glad about it. And I don't know about you, but I am glad on this morning because it could have been another way. People of God, I just want to remind you of something that uh, I, I'm sure you've heard me say it before, and I just felt led to say it again. Amen. God has been good to us, and he could have turned us over to a reprobate mind, and no matter how bad it seemed, no matter how dark it seemed, God is still in control, and he is still the light. Amen. Amen. And we do say, God, I just want to uh, encourage you that a lot of times you will hear me say, hallelujah amen and we're taught that that's the highest praise it is also a command much like if you were in the military and the drill sergeant said a tense hut it means do something so when you hear the word hallelujah it's really a commandment to praise and to move and to do something and i just want to encourage your hearts with this if we all got together and we all praised god the word of god says he lives in the praises of his people and if you want to get something done baby give him a praise you have been commanded to pray yes to tell him what it is you need but when you want a, a speedy answer amen you can move God's heart with your praise and so I just want to encourage us when you hear me say hallelujah don't be stingy with your praises <laughs> amen amen all right that's enough listen let us go to God in prayer we thank God for life today and God bless you and Baruch Atah Elohim blessed are you our God creator of the universe Lord you have been good to us and we give you glory Father we thank you for just being God on this morning there is nobody quite like you how my God how you have been good to us how you commissioned guardian angels to stand watch over us as we slumbered and slept and kept us from hurt, harm, and danger. My God, I want to tell you thank you for that. Father God, thank you for touching us with a divine finger of love that we could rise this morning to see the dawning of a new creation that's been coming ever since you created it, and it arrived perfect and on time and on schedule. And we thank you for the possibilities that this day brings. Father, we just thank you because there is none like you we confess our sins before you god we've sinned so many times and if if justice would have had its way we'd be locked up in a mental institution we'd be locked up behind bars we'd be six feet in the grave but god you allowed our golden moments to roll on a little while longer and for that we tell you thank you we plead the precious blood of Jesus that was shed at Calvary because that blood has covered a multitude of sin. Father God, we've got so much to be thankful for this morning. We thank you for life, God. God, we thank you that we were enclosed in the right mind when we woke up. God, we thank you that the tongues in our mouth were not cloven to the roofs of our mouths. That, God, we yet have the activity uh, uh, of our limbs and the articulation of speech. Father God, we thank you that the death wheel, the hearse, did not stop at our doorsteps last night. But, God, you protected us. Even when the enemy had declared that it would be our last night, you said not so. And I'm telling you, I'm so grateful for that, God. I just want to tell you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you for forgiving us for our trespasses. Father God, there are so many pressures that seem to come upon us. God, it seems like the world is going crazy and cuckoo. But God, you're keeping us with a sane mind. Father God, we thank you that you gave your only begotten son, Jesus. He gave up his life on the cross so that we could have a right to the tree of life. And because of that, we now have the remission of sin. We thank you that his blood presents us faultless before your throne. We thank you, God, because he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. The word says, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Father God, help us to be tenderhearted with our young people, compassionate with our senior citizens, sympathetic with those who are stricken, and tolerant of those who are weak and wrong. Father, we stand in agreement that every prayer request that aligns with your will, your word, and your way. 
You are the God that created us. You know everything there is to know about us. Father God, we lift up every person whose name went unarticulated, but we know that there are so many standing in the need of prayer. We're thanking you for your grace, your mercy, your loving kindness, your compassion, your peace, and your tranquility. Father, keep on doing what you do. You do it so well. You do it best. You know you can make a way out of no way. Keep on opening up those shut doors so that we don't go through the wrong door, God. Keep on opening up the doors that we should go through. Father God, keep on making a way of escape out of every temptation. In your words, you said you would do it. And since you are not a man and you cannot lie, we're counting it as done. Even if we can't see it, even if we can't feel it or taste it, even if we can't recognize it with our senses, we count it done. Our trust is in you today. Father God, sometimes the road gets rough and there are times when the going gets tough. The kills are hard to climb. There are times when our loved ones disappoint us. There are times when our friends have turned and walked away. There were times when the doctor only shake his head. Father God, there were times when people smiled at us while they were digging ditches for us. There were times when it seemed like the script got flipped everything felt like it was turned upside down help us to stand God you said it in your word having done all to stand stand some more father God we ask that you would wipe away the tears that were shed in the midnight hour because of an unkind word or a thoughtless deed father God wipe away every painful thought and remembrance wipe away every insecurity that would tempt us back into the sinful ways of our past father God don't let us go back to our comfort zone help us to move and push forward God help us to focus our gaze on the things that are upward and forward daddy we thank you for redeeming your word you send it out sanctify your word let it accomplish where and to it is sent and not return unto you boy we're grateful for your word that declared that weeping may endure for a night i don't know who i'm talking to but listen joy is coming in the morning don't give up this is not the time this is not the time to throw in the towel i know it seems dark i know it seems hopeless and you're wondering how in the world can you make it but I'm telling you, God is still in control. He has not forgotten about you. And when he's silent, he's moving and working things out. We thank you for your word that says that all things, hallelujah, are working for the good of them who are the called according to your purpose. Father God, we lift up especially those people who are suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's. Father God, how it robs the memories and the very sense of their being. So Father God, restore the memories, God. Get the brain cells to working right. And we pray especially for those caretakers. I have been in the situation, so I know what I'm talking about. It sounds easy, but it is not. You wake up tired, you go to sleep tired. So, Father, for those who have, who have taken on the responsibility of taking other, care of others, God, give them an extra measure of strength and understanding. Wipe away even the tears that they don't cry. Father God, we just thank you because we're walking in joy now. We're walking in victory. We're walking in authority in new realms, divisions, and new zones, God. God, we're claiming territory for you everywhere, our footsteps. We claim it for you. You are the God of our supply. You are the God of second chances. You are the God of miracles. And because of your presence, in your presence, things are changed and things are better. Our health situation is changing for the better. Our financial situation is changing for the better. Our relationships are changing for the better. Our hands and our feet are changing. Our minds are changing, God. We align yourselves with your, with your word in Exodus 14, 13. You said, fear not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you this day. Listen for the Egyptians who you have seen today. You shall see them again no more. That means that thing is passing. It will pass. Take a good look at it because you're not going to see it again in the mighty name of Jesus. The word declares that the Lord our God will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. 
Those Egyptians represent hindrance, blockage, and oppression. According to the word of God, we will not see them anymore. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that we shall not see the Egyptians in our finances anymore. I decree and declare that we shall not see the Egyptians in our health anymore. I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus that we shall not see the Egyptians in our relationships, nor in our ministries. Set the ministers free, God. Cause and bring growth to their efforts. Efforts. I decree and declare that we shall see the Egyptians no more in the circles of our circle influence. No more low levels of thinking. No more lack. No more scarcity. Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. So God, no more thoughts of poverty. No more thoughts of suicide. No more thoughts of revenge or doubt. Father, break every generational curse in every family, God. God, we relinquish our need to be in control. We give up our need to know where we're going ahead of time. We relinquish our desire for human accolades to be well spoken of, of by men. Father God, we want to be used by you. And we're telling you, God, use us until you use us up. Raise us up to new levels in you. Raise us up where we belong. Raise us up from shades of night to blades of light. Raise us up to the point that we'll praise your name regardless of what's going on in our lives. I speak to you, Satan, rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I hear you coming against my voice, but the word of God shall go forth. These are the people of God, and you cannot stop the prayers. Father God, you are the Holy One that lives in the praises of your people. Be glorified in our walk, in our talk, in our life today. Father God, get glory out of what we say and do. We invite you in. Come in, God. Walk heavy. Throw your weight around. And on the behalf of those people whose hearts are turned to you, bless those who would, whose hearts are turned this way to the prayer line, but for various circumstances and reasons could not participate. Father, right where they are, bless them. In Jesus' name, we want to reflect, God, on your magnificence. We want to be profitable in your kingdom. We want to be the living epistle read of all men. We want our words to be filled with hope. We want our household, our whole household to be saved because you said it could be. So God, restore us. Take us to a state of overflow. Reconstitute us. Refurbish us. Rebuild us. Rehabilitate us. God, where we're weak and slow, reanimate us and push us into a state of overflow. Father God, recover us, reinforce us, reinstate us, recondition us, move us into overflow. Give us back our joy, our passion. And if you do that, we'll spend our time and energy to help improve the life of others. Father God, we're calling on you to, in the strong name of Jesus. You said that if we call on that name, you would show us mighty and marvelous things which we know not of. We're calling on that name because there is no other name whereby men may be saved. There's power in that name. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Demons tremble at that name and the very same power resides in the blood. The blood still works, I'm telling you. Somebody needs to know the blood still works. Father God, we're waiting on you. We have high expectations and we're trusting you. You've been good to us for this we give you praise. For everything you brought low, for every crooked road you made straight, and for every blessing, Father, we do tell you thank you. Father, bind up the enemy. There is a murderous, malevolent spirit that's been released on our nation. God, there's a spirit of separation. I ask God that you would reveal the plans of the enemy. And then God, give our leaders the wherewithal and the insight to counteract. Father God, make this to be the nation that it should be. Father God, our hands clap for you. Our feet want to dance for you. Our mouths are flowing with rivers of living water. The living water opens prison doors and sets the captive free. It makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. Father God, thank you for keeping us and leading us. You kept us. You led us through our teenage years when we had no time and no money, but we had energy. You kept us and led us through our working years when we had no time, no energy, but we had money. You're still keeping us and have led us up to this point where we now have the time and the money, but we don't have the energy. Father God, send it, correct it, flip the switch, flip, change it over, God. It could have been another way. You kept us, God, when others 
could commit suicide. You kept us when others went cuckoo. You kept us when others had to be institutionalized. Father God, somebody lost it during the COVID-19 pandemic. Return to us, God, everything that was lost in the name of Jesus. Father God, we are determined that we will not cheat on our future by dawdling in the past. We are living in the now, the right now, where all things are possible. God, don't forget to bind up the spirit of rage and wrath and revenge and murder and mayhem. We speak now to the 11 systems of the body. You cannot resist the word of God. Yield to the word of God. The word is decreed that we are every with whole. So adjust yourself with the, the divine blueprints that God designed. He did not create cancer in the design. COVID-19, diabetes, you were not in the plan. I don't know how you slipped in, but you're on illegal ground. And in the name of Jesus, we tell you to vacate. Fibroids, fibromyalgia, lupus, Alzheimer's, dementia. I could go on and on and on, but you, you get the picture. Every disease, even if I have not called your name, you are reversed. Pain, you must cease. Pain, cease. Pain, cease. Inflammation, be dissipated. People of God shall go free. We are healthy, wealthy, and wise in Jesus' name. Father God, now don't forget the sick, the bereaved, those who are institutionalized, those who are incarcerated. Father God, those who have lost their way, those who have become depressed, those who have been discounted, Father. The lonely God, those who are being tortured all over the world, those who don't have enough food to eat or proper shelter. They don't have clothing for their back, shoes for their feet clean drinking water father god we take these things for granted because you have so abundantly blessed us but there are those who don't have it so father god i ask that you would meet their needs right where they are send them hope god let your shekinah glory rest on them father god we pray for the immigrants now who have left their home in search of safety security and and, and other blessings but God, I ask that more than that, you would fix the situation wherever they came from. Whether it be a, a, a crime lord or a drug cartel or a corrupt politician, people want to be where they call home. And so, Father God, I ask that you would bless them until you can get them back home. Father God, we do ask these things in your son's name. Father, reclaim the backslider. Give another opportunity to those who don't yet know you in the pardon of their sins. Father, turn the hearts of our children back to their fathers and the hearts of our fathers back to their children. Father God, put a special hedge of protection around our young people. It's warm and, and the, the murder rate is skyrocketing already. And Father, if you don't keep them, they won't be kept. Father God, we deny every stray bullet. Father God, everyone who's planning a drive-by or, or, or violence in some way, change their hearts and their minds. Father, I prayed much too long, and I apologize for snotting all over the place, but God, you've been good to me, and there's a spirit of joy that I can hardly contain. So God, I've got so much more I want to talk to you about, but I'm going to cut it off. God, I'm going to ask that you would do these blessings for your glory, God, in the name of Jesus. If you do them, we'll be careful to give your name the praise, and if you don't, you'll still be God. And Father God, in my excitement and in my zeal, if I have been amiss, if I have failed, if I have forgotten a name or a situation, do it for your glory in Jesus' name. Bless everyone under the sound of our voice. Cause everything their hands touch to prosper and get glory out of what we say and do in spite of what we say and do. It's in the matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach that we submit this prayer. And those in agreement will signify so by saying amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. 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 I apologize, people. I apologize. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Glory. Shalom, everyone. Be encouraged and be blessed. Amen.